Given that The Mandalorian is now coming to a close with Season 2, both Disney and Lucasfilm are looking ahead with Season 3 and 4 that is currently being worked back to back by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and other creators hopping on board of this new Star Wars universe. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that yes, we do know that they are indeed on the road to success to really completing the franchise fully. What they want to do is that they want to take advantage of some of the core and key characters like Luke, Ahsoka, Anakin, Ezra, and more that's going to be the main focus of this new universe on Disney+. Plus. Now, with that all being said, all right, we've already seen what was done with Chapter 13, with Ahsoka Tano's entrance as, of course, you know, being portrayed by Rosario Dawson, and what even happened in Chapter 14 further with, of course, Boba Fett's sequences done by Morrison. He did an amazing job, and I think that what Favreau is doing here is that he's trying to create his own legacy. He did it with the MCU. He's going to do it again with the Star Wars universe. So tomorrow's going to be a big day because that's the very end of Season 2. We're not going to get another season of The Mandalorian until Holiday of 21. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy is the one who announced this a couple of days ago that as opposed to October, we're not going to see the new season of The Mandalorian until December. And there's a real reason behind this is because they're going to go a little bit more over budget. They're going to have more stories to tell in Season 3. And not just that, they're going to be introducing other characters in the mix that's going to have more explaining to do. So, aside from all of this, with the character of Luke Skywalker set to have received major retcons in the new Star Wars universe, it's described that just recently creator George Lucas has been hiring new creators to come on board of this new universe. It's described that Lucas recently hired a longtime friend, Steven Spielberg, as executive producer for a project that will focus on Luke Skywalker, portrayed by actor Sebastian Stan. Now, it's said that Spielberg is the person who helped George Lucas with the storyboarding process of Anakin vs. Obi-Wan in Episode 3, and he is described to also be helping Lucas with saving the character of Luke Skywalker in a proper way for the Star Wars fans to enjoy around the world. Now, Spielberg is already working on a live-action Halo project and will eventually transition to Star Wars as soon as 2022 arrives. Now, Spielberg, on top of this, is described to be helping Lucas with how Luke should be done and treated in The Mandalorian Season 4 and the other planned Young Luke Skywalker TV series that will focus on Luke and R2-D2's adventures, as well as a young Ben Solo. Spielberg is also described to have convinced George Lucas to use Sebastian Stan for Luke in this new universe and that Steven is set to help Lucas in great depth on how Luke will be used for the new projects to come. Disney wants to make sure that they do incredible things for the Star Wars fans. Now let me stop right here for a second. We can see that Disney is doing incredible things both with Star Wars and Marvel. I don't know if you guys have been pretty much, you know, in the loop of what's happening with Spider-Man 3, but wow. I mean, they have a lot of the characters from the Raimi trilogy getting involved, and that's pretty much all I'll say. But aside from The Mandalorian, we have other projects that are currently in the works, such as that young Luke Skywalker TV series that they are actually aiming to do by 2024, and Steven Spielberg is helping Lucas and Jon Favreau, of course, with The Mandalorian Season 4, with Luke's major entrance into the form of live action as his younger self again. The thing about Spielberg, I will say, is that he did a great job with Lucas on the storyboarding of Anakin vs. Kenobi. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Spielberg played a major role in how the fight sequence between Anakin and Kenobi was done, and Lucas had a lot of help by Steven for that. And I think that's one of the main reasons as to why, at some points in time, you can really tell that George Lucas was working with somebody else to a degree. Steven Spielberg, I mean, he, he's an amazing guy. I mean, he knows what he's doing, and the fact that he is jumping in to help with Luke Skywalker and really restore the character. You know, he's already very much busy with the Halo project that's going to be in live-action form. I don't know if you guys are into the Halo video games out there, but that is also a very interesting thing to take note of, is that Spielberg is going to be involved with a lot more projects moving forward. Be it Disney or not, he's going to be a very busy man. So, 
With the character of Luke in the mix, you know, obviously a lot of fans were very upset with how things turned out with The Last Jedi, and especially with Episode 9. Jon Favreau, George, Dave, and now Spielberg want to undo all of this. They want to reset the character of Luke, bring him back to his roots, show us his life before becoming a Jedi Master, or the road to becoming a Jedi Master. And that, to me, I think is really going to fix the character. I really do believe that. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, I mean, I think that Disney, regardless, knows what they're doing now. They're very ambitious. They know what the fans want, so drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.